Jurgen Klopp has said that he's going to leave at the end of the season, mm-hmm. but doesn't yet have a, a replacement in place. I mean, what do you think his legacy at Liverpool would be? He'll get a statue. You think so? No. Oh, yeah. 100%. Listen, from the, fir- from the first day, he absolutely to- totally got it. He got the football club. You know, he got the place. He got absolutely everything about it. And he understood about, obviously, Heysel and Hillsborough and, and all those mm. kind of things. And he's just, he's just, he's been magnificent. He, he really, really seriously has. And that nine years ago, if he said he was going to win, well, he won every competition, hasn't he? And he's, some yeah. of them he's won more than once. Yeah. And the best thing I ever, I remember Emil Heskey, who'd, I, he got transferred from Liverpool. I don't know where he, where he, he went to, but he, he'd obviously, Jürgen had had him and said, well, he's kind of not my style and we'll sell him on. <clears throat> and Emil Heskey wrote this, wrote this thing in the weekend newspaper Somebody said, what's he like? What's a new manager like? He said, he's your pal. He said, but he's not your best pal. Okay. Which I thought was really... Interesting. Clever Interesting thing to say. Yeah, so yeah. You cle- but you just go so far, you don't kind of cross over. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Which I think sums him up. Yeah. But I mean, I, you know, I, I go to the um, AXA training ground sometimes and do some stuff for LFC TV. And he's just, he talks to everybody and anybody. Mm. And they're all the same. It could be Salah or the cleaner or the postman. It's, he's just the same. And he's just, he's having a house built. I, I, I sort of outed him with this not long ago. <laughs> he's having a house built in Mallorca, not too far from where, where we've got one. Although ours, in comparison, ours, a telef- ours is a telephone box. <laughs> but early in the season, do you remember when Nunes scored two late goals against Newcastle? Yes. And, yeah, we, yeah. and we were... Down to 10 men. Yeah, yeah, t- yeah 10 yeah, men yeah. and everything yeah. and all that kind of stuff. And so we interviewed him after the match um, and he, he literally couldn't get his words out because he was just saying, I have never, never and never experienced anything like that mm. for all those things to happen. And he's just such a shrewdy. Anyway, so he's all happy and stuff like that. So we finished and he shook hands and I said, oh, I said, how's the house? And he looked at me and he went, oh yeah, you've, you've got one. And I said, yeah, yeah, mine's a bit further away. And he went, he said... Um, yeah, he said, it's uh, costing me a fortune. Co- he's only on 12 million quid a year. So it's costing me a fortune. So Plus time endorsements I, and yeah, things like that. Every time my missus goes over, he says, look, it's even more money. <laughs> so I, I, he'll probably go. He'll be there in the summer, I would think. That's yeah. where he'll probably go. Yeah. But, well, uh, why yeah. not? Perfect. Yeah. He'll get, a, well, he'll, a well-deserved rest. And oh, what, what a better place. Go get a bit of sunshine. Oh, and He will get a statue. He absolutely, totally. Will. And I hope it's sooner rather than later. Mm. I hope it's not one when he's like six foot under. It's, you've got to do it straight away. Do you think he'll go on to another job at some point? Or do you think he'll be done? I, don't, I think I think it'll be at least a year before. And everyone says national team. I'm not sure. Maybe you might do the German national team if they've got a really good team. Yeah. Because he haven't of late had, no, a, had a good got the team. I mean, he's to, not stupid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, no, I think he's just going to enjoy his life. And I think, you know, his, his, his wife, Ula, is very much, um, you know, she makes a lot of decisions and stuff. Mm. But, um, and I think also one of the reasons is that I think that uh, most of the family have now gone back from Formby to uh, to Germany mm. and I think she spends quite a bit of time on her own so that makes the decision it, it, he seems like that sort of guy that you've described where that's going to matter well, I, think, I imagine I, with some people that might not be the biggest no, consideration no, in I think he did. I think him he did, it would yeah, be I think he did the deal with her yeah. and she said okay because his last contract she said yes mm. so I think then she said but that might be it yeah yeah. you know and to be fair it is it isn't it but I mean nine years yeah so I, th- I think it, it seemed, I'm only slightly guessing that she's probably been rattling around the house while mm. he's been, wherever he's been. Are Liverpool screwed without him? Is it going to be a, a rough time? No, it'll, I think the next couple of years will be tough. You can see Salah will go, won't he? Mm. I think he might get 150 million from him by a couple of players, which obviously will help. Even at his age, I think he's still... Oh, I, th- I think the Saudis will, yeah. Right. I was going to say, snap his hand off. It's <laughs> probably the wrong thing to say. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you might, yeah. be, you might be keep right that, there. Keep that in. Um, <laughs> so, he, well, he's, he's Egyptian. Yeah, yeah. So he's king, isn't he? He's, he's king. So I think, and in fairness, I think he, he could have probably gone last summer. Yeah. So we, I think he'll definitely go. And it, it'll probably be the right time, won't it? Mm-hmm. Um, as for the new manager, obviously they're going, and everyone thinks Alonso. Would he um, be your choice or would you go somewhere You know, else? I'd get, and I'd, but I don't think they'd get him because I just think he reminds me of Jurgen Klopp, his Postacoglu. Mm. 
I just think he's just, he's just like him. And you can, you can see his players play for him. And I think they respect him. Yeah. He takes no shit. He's done an amazing job so oh, far. Oh, he's done fab. I mean, yeah. about a week before the season started, they sell Kane. Yeah, yeah. And he, didn't, yeah. he went, got to right. get on with it. Got to <laughs> yeah. get on with it. What, what am I going to do? Yeah. And yeah. I, I love his press conferences as well. Um, and he's, he's, wherever he's gone, he's gone, he's gone, he's better and better and better, hasn't he? I don't suppose for a minute Tottenham would let him go. And he's a Liverpool fan. Yeah, yeah, he, grew up he is. He was Alfred, he? Yeah, he is, yeah, a, he is yeah. a Liverpool fan. So, hey, I've heard some people almost advocating for like a, a planned sacrificial lamb that whoever follows him is not going to work. Like after Fergie or after Wenger, and you yeah. bring someone in, he's not going to do well, very well for eighteen months. And it will if you've got the players. Or, okay, it will if you've got the players. The players are ultimately, you know, because they do it for you. But um, I couldn't, I can understand people. But then, if you are a manager now, and they come to you. You're not going to say, oh, well, actually, no, I'll wait until you, sa- you sack the fellow in front of me and then I'll come in, <laughs> are you? Because you're going to take it. Yeah. You know, it's, it's, it's a natural thing, isn't it? So um, it, it remains to be seen. But at the moment, the way, the way that City are, I won't mind betting they, were, they win all four this, this season. Mm. First time anyone will, will ever have done it. And I mean, De Bruyne just comes back. Haaland's just come back. So they're like, Kids with new toys, aren't they? Do you think the Man City <clears throat> treble winning team is better than the United treble winning team? I can't remember the United winning team. Um, <laughs> I, was at, I was at the game as well in um, Barcelona. Um, yes. Because actually, when you look at that, when you look at that um, United team, there's a couple of strange names on there, aren't there? Okay. Some players that have mm-hmm. won it because they're part of the team, not necessarily at that level. Yeah who, for whatever reason, were in the team on the day. I think, I think there's a couple. Yeah. And I think, didn't he, didn't he, didn't he play Giggsy on the <coughs> right or something? Or, I know, he did, he did something. I mean... I think they started that way and then made a change yeah. part of through the game. No, City are better. Mm. And I'm not saying that because I'm anti-Man United, but I mean, I just think they're the best thing I've ever seen. Do you like their football? Yeah, love it. You do? Because well, it's, it's with a purpose. Because... You know, De Bruyne gets on the ball. Where does he look first? Forward. Hmm. Always forward. And hmm. if he can't pass it forward, all right, he might have to pass it sideways. But he's it, just straight away. And if you're playing in that team up front, you make a run because you, you, you're going to get it. Yeah. And, and to be fair, Foden's the same. Um, and they're just, they're just that way. This is just a small clip from my one hour plus conversation with Mark Lawrenson. If you want to watch the full video, you can do so right here. <laughs> 